Right guys, we're on the motorway now, we've started our road trip, we've already sung a few songs and we are currently 25.3 miles away, we're stuck in one of them bloody uh, 50 zones which I don't like, there's police everywhere but it won't be long till we're there and we're hoping to catch some small fish, some big fish and especially catfish, isn't that right Katie? Yeah. The roads are a bit busy, look. But we'll soon be out of this 50 zone and we'll soon be on our way fishing. Right, we are finally here. Can you see what that says? Cudmore. Cudmore Fisheries. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> Katie's never been fishing, well she's been fishing but she's never been night fishing before so this is Katie's first night trip. We're both excited. Right guys, we're here now. We're ready to catch our target species, which is a catfish. But first of all, I'm going to put the cart rod out. And then I'm going to show you where I'm fishing for the cats and what I'm going to use. So for now, this is just a critically balanced rig, basically. The bottom bait will, will drop the pop-up, but the pop-up will waft on top. This is just going to go in the margins for carp. And then, like I say, before we get the bivvy or anything set up, me and Katie will show you what we're going to use to catch some cats. Gonna put some Sonia Bates 24-7s over the top of that. 12 millers. Right, for the cats, I'm gonna free line. I'm gonna use no lead whatsoever, not even back leads. Minimal resistance for the cats. I have got a herring on it. I don't know whether to leave the pop up like on one half of the fish, but the fish I'm going to use are blueies, uh, Pacific Sarri. I'm going to use half or a quarter, maybe a quarter to begin with, see how I get on. And then I'm going to leave the herring on, even if I have to wrap the herring around the hook a little bit to get rid of it, just so I can put meat on later. You know, I never know, I've, I've only brung these, could run out of fish, so I have backup, which is meat. Right, so I've herring the fish for now. I have left the pop up on to maybe add a bit of a tra attraction or a little bit of buoyancy. I've got size 4 Nash fangs and I am going to just loop the hook in to the fish a little bit. So this is a bluey, just a section of it. It's going to be free lined, very standard rig. And Katie is now going to be our camera woman. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to cast it. where we're gonna go because in daytime catfish like places to hide so that's where we're gonna try okay is this gonna get us a cat is it Katie um I think so let's go if you say so so this is gonna be free line Not as not as close as to the tree as the light, but I'm not far from the tree. It hasn't got far to come out. 
if there is one there. But we have to require it because we want to get one. Did you do that? Ready to rock and roll. Right, now Katie, it's your turn. Get the float rod. What am I, what is that? The float rod. Your rod. Oh. Right, we're all set up. We're just doing a bit of bit bashing. Katie's under. Oh, timing on that. Unlucky Katie. Bit faster next time. Okay. That was that good. Was She's already had, how many have you had? Two. She's had two. Perch. I've had a perch and a skimmer, so we're both on two each. Put your rod tip in the water again. Reel your float so you think it's in the right spot. There you go, stop. Keep still now. Just go in. the float in its natural habitat. It's currently got three red maggots on. Or maybe there's a white one. Katie's been quiet, stalking, patiently waiting for that float tip to go underneath the water. When will it happen? Will it ever happen? Is it going to happen now? I think it might. Get ready, Katie. And you're in. Go. Yes. Oh, and she's got it on. It's a little perch. Swing it to me, Katie. She's got one. It swallowed it down to the belly. But well done, Katie. You did it. It swallowed it down to the belly. Now I'm going to unhook this. I know a uh, fish girl is not the best when you're swinging a fish, but she is learning. High five. Boom. Now time for some cats. Katie's had her turn. The hat is going on backwards. It's now my turn. He's gonna get, he's hoping to get a catfish. Come on cats. Meow. <laughs> Where are the cats? Okay, where's the float over there? Can you see it? Nope. Do you know how to zoom in? Nope, I've already zoomed. It won't take me long though, because I'm a professional. Oh yeah, we can see it. Oh, it is like a line. No, I don't know how you zoom in. How do you zoom in? Three, two, one. Yeah. What did he catch? Did he catch one? He caught one. Is it a cat or is it a dog? <laughs> it's a perch. <laughs> now we both caught three fishes. <laughs> with, wow. only, with only one hand. With only this is one. <laughs> <laughs> with this only one hand, you got me. This is the dancing fish. <laughs> and back it goes. Bye bye. Okay, it's my go. I'm gonna pass the camera to you, Daddy. Oh, and uh, yeah, yeah, she's in. Oh, it's another perch. It's another perch. Rod down. Rod down. Swing it in. Rod all the way down. Good girl. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Katie has caught her four fish in the lip. Barbless hooks, so you can get it out easy. And we are in. Ladies and gentlemen, the first time Katie's ever been fishing and she's had her four fish. Hello, Katie. Hello. My name's Perchy. What's your name? What's your name? Give me, give me a kiss. Right, we caught a catfish, I think it is. What is it? A big fish. Just say it. Right. We've had a fish. It ain't a cat, but it's a fish. <laughs> You ready? It's a zinc. There you go. A nice zip linear zip. fish. It's called a zip linear carp because it's got a scales like a zip in the middle of it. Awesome.
now for a cat. 17 5 ounce. Very nice fish. Yeah. Ew, my hands are so slimy. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. This is not my bed. That is my bed. And this is Daddy's bed. And that is Daddy doing some work. And I am relaxing by my father's bed. Lesson one of taking cat. Start again. <coughs> Lesson one, learn from taking kids fishing. Do not give them fizzy pop. No? Why? Because they get rather hyper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to give you an update about this session, there is still no catfish. Well, We've almost. had the 17 pound five ounce linear carp. What's it called, Katie? A zip. <laughs> <laughs> a zip linear. And we did have a little run on the catfish rod, didn't we? Yeah. But I hit into it and nothing was there. So it could have it could have been a small cat or a a pike. Big. Or an aggressive liner. And Katie has had how many fish? Um, twenty, I'd say. Probably twenty, yeah. I've had 11. Honey. I've had 11. I've beat him. I mean, I beat him. You beat me. <laughs> I beat him. You can't even Katie's see bed, bed nice and messy there. Right, and yeah. now she's ruling mine. How's my name? Mine's nice and tidy for now. But we've yeah. just had pizzas in the Ridge Monkey. The and we've also got po pot noodles, poodles. We've also got pot noodles as backup. But yeah, it's been raining. It's calmed down a bit now. And I'm hoping tonight, our only night, is super, super active. And I don't mean hypo. Hypo! Now my bed's tidy. Ding ding. Pink. Is it carpet? Carpet? Yeah. What does that mean? Your fee blanket. Is it carpet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carpe. What does carpe mean? Carpe carpe. What does that carpe mean? Like it means that you like you look. Feels like a camp carpet. Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully, we'll see you later with a catfish. The voice of rain. Still no fish to report on. <laughs> but me and Katie just wanted to share that sound of rain. When you're in the bivvy. The voice of rain. The voice of rain. When you're all dry, all dry. And you can hear the tapping noise. It's started to slowly go dark. Now that's carpy. And it makes you want to go to sleep. Good morning, guys. It's uh, it's now six minutes past eight in the morning, the very next day, and unfortunately, there's no cats to report on. In the end, I had two rods out with the, for the cats and one for the carp. I had a couple of bleeps in the night on both of the cat rods, but nothing produced. It's a bit. I'm a bit gutted because I really thought we was in for something. Especially having the ladies look on our side. But never mind, that is fishing. That's why it's not called catching. And we shall keep trying for the next hour before we go home. I had one over there where I'm aiming at. And I had one to that tree line as well. They're still there, but like I say, we've only got an hour left. And nothing might come of it. But we'll try. Okay, so no catfish this time, but there's always next time, isn't there, Yes, there is. And uh, 
will keep giant. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. And Katie did catch about 25 fish. I caught about 11. And nonetheless, thank you for watching. We'll see you in another video soon. Either a bait off, an unboxing, a review, my phone's ringing, or a mission video. See you soon, guys.